everybody, I hope you're having a great day. My name's Tyler, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a bike mount for your van. Now, maybe it's not a van you have, maybe it's an SUV, maybe it's just your car, but here I'm gonna show you how to put a bike mount inside of your van. Now, normally we can get two normal adult-sized bikes in here, but I'm also gonna fit two children's uh, Rip Rock bikes in here as well. So let's check it out. I went down to my local hardware store to pick up some supplies that I would need. Most of the parts can be found in the plumbing department, but I did need some washers with some nuts and a couple of boards to attach the mounts to as well. All right, some of the parts we're gonna use to make this mount today are down here. We have a three quarters by three quarters to half inch T-mount, a half inch flange, and then this half inch nipple. And then we're gonna take this three quarters inch PVC pipe, slip it in and secure it these hose clamps so they will slide anywhere so that way the max goes through the hole and it's plastic on the metal instead of metal on metal like the last mount was I need to cut the pipe to 110 millimeters since my hub has boost spacing cutting tubing is always hard I'll need one piece of PVC for each of the two mounts these pieces will keep the fork legs from bending just slightly off just a little bit of sanding should make it fit properly. There it is. You just put these together and give them a good old twist. To keep the PVC from moving, I'm using these hose clamps. Now with the hose clamps on there, it won't slide anywhere the PVC pipe. Next, I'm gonna use this shrink tube that will cover the hose clamps to help prevent scratches. It's best to use a heat gun, but all I have was this torch. Hose clamp. The shrink tube also helps keep the PVC pipe from moving. Got a little wild with my melts. I'm also making two quick release mounts for my kids' bikes. I need to cut two threaded rods to 180 millimeters length to use as skewers. With the two specialized Rip Rock bikes I have, they have a quick release axle, but it has 110 millimeters boost spacing on the hub. So I'm gonna have to make my own mount down here. So what, I wanna get, what I'm gonna do is take 110 millimeters out. I'm gonna cut this plank, of, this block of wood and I'm gonna drill through and make myself my own mount. I looked on the internet for a quick release mount, but they were all sized for a 100 millimeter hub. So this was my next best option. All right, like a glove. We'll simulate the mount that it's gonna be. And I will mark roughly where the drill hole needs to be. Okay, these skewer rods I'm making are uh, five millimeter diameter, which is roughly about a quarter inch. So I'm taking my quarter inch drill bit and I'm gonna drill through both sides down. And hopefully I get a straight hole. <laughs> the skewer rod was a little bit bigger than the hole I drilled. So at first I was going to hand twist it in, but then I had a better idea. There's those work harder moments. And there's those work smarter moments. Like a sad dog. Next, I'm using a couple pairs of rubber washers to protect the fork from the metal. Finally, I'm using a wing nut on each end to secure the bike to the mount. This way, it can be used without the need of a tool. Pretty solid. Now what I'm gonna do, now that the mounts are built, is figure out where the bike's gonna be placed and then I'm gonna secure each mount in the proper location on these boards here. I have one in the front and one in the back. Let's figure it out. This is the hardest part of the whole process. Finding out how to place four bikes in one van was a strange game of Tetris. Most of the time, we'll only be loading two bikes at once, but if we want, we can take the whole family on a bike ride. Now that I have the bikes in the right locations, 
I'm going to mark the blocks of wood and where I need to screw the mounts down. Then we'll be ready for the last step. I am just using some wood screws to fasten the blocks to the boards. It is much easier to attach the flange if you remove the assembled mount. To avoid the handlebars from hitting each other, I end up placing one of the mounts on a block of wood. The quick release mounts were attached underneath by using wood screws as well. These are slightly offset to also help avoid the handlebars from hitting each other and the other bikes. Now it's time to put these in the van and to load the bikes in. All right, so I appreciate you watching the video. Hopefully it gives you a good idea how to make your own mount for your vehicle. And if you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button and I appreciate if you hit subscribe. All right guys, I'll catch you on the trail next time. I'll see you.